This is a DIY installing a spring kit in a Diana 56 TH. I've got my spring compressor made. All right, first, remove these two screws. All right, I have the stock screws replaced. Inside the stock, against the gun on these brass slides, are two metal washers, then two rubber ones, and a front one has another metal washer. The back one does not have a metal washer because it is inside the gun. Store these in a safe place. I just put them back into the brass slide. And later, I'll be working on this one to put an O-ring in and I'll take it out of the way then. Next, you'll need to remove these two circlips. Mark your shaft with a little bit of tape or I put fingernail polish so in case you turn it you know where to put it back because if it's sliding together and closing correctly you don't want to change the adjustment. So remove these. Two. This one it needs to face the inside of the cocking lever so you can take it off easily. I just and it slides out easily. I'm going to do this one too. There's no tension because you didn't snap it. Take your punch, push it out. slide this out. Now there will be two washers so don't lose these. The back pin by the trigger has a washer the caulking arm has two skinny ones on each side they will fit inside those brackets to give it a bearing surface and take up any clearance I put the pins back in and the circlips so I don't lose now I'm ready to push the spring. I made this gizmo to fit inside of this area of the safety area. It's going to fit right in there. It's going to fit nice and snug screw to hold it. It's going to fit in there like this inside of it. It's going to nest inside of it. Now I'm going to clamp this down. To keep the gun from sliding back and forth. I've laid the pusher up against the safety housing and so when I push it in the wood will fit and nest right inside those cutouts. And now I'll crank her. It 
it's coming Went right up against it it just dropped right in I've got it in this notch it's there it's there there's two pins I've got them pushed and I lay these right here in the order I took them out and now I'll back it out That's when you know you're out, so when it drops to the ground. This is the T06 trigger and it has a plastic housing that goes over it. When you put that back, make sure the housing's not twisted or you're going to have some problems. I will move my pin, move that out of the way. I could slide this out. It's very, very dry. Alright, now I don't need these clamps on anymore. have some wobble in it. I don't know if you can hear that. It does have a slight wobble in it. I guess that's okay. It came from the factory that way. I want to remove this. So I'll have to take an Allen wrench and unscrew this set screw. It's got threads then about a quarter inch of unthreaded area kind of like a pin. Now here I have the Allen head backed out and you can see what it looks like. Now this just slides right out. I could put that out of the way. And now the compression chain Here we have the compression tube out, the piston and guide, spring and the trigger laid out. I see the spring has a spacer in front of the guide. Here's my new piston seal. There's the old one. That doesn't look too bad. Here's the original spring on top and a new vortex spring on the bottom. It looks like it's about an inch shorter. Here's the inside seal diameter. This is the socket outside diameter I use to put the seal on. The large bottom part of the socket is four thousandths bigger than the top of the piston seal flange. Here's the driving socket I use to hit the seal on. Ninety nine thousandths. Here's the seal on the socket. I put 
put that on there put the socket on the top of the piston flange and then hammer it in and when I get the seal over the bottom I make sure I get it lined up and one more hit with my hammer and it drops right in I was looking at the compression tube it's got some scratches somewhere where it's been rubbing a little bit I'll polish polish that down that'll look a lot better the tube it's kind of a dull finish I'll polish that up a bit too the face looks like it's got a little bit of rust on it if notice the chamfer narrows down here and gets wired here I noticed that when it goes in and out here the leading edge of this rubs on that edge The vortex spring and a factory spring are both have opposite twists. I don't know. I just assumed one was for Australia and one's for North America. And the vortex spring, if you could see, it came polished on this end and has a top hat where the factory did not have a top hat. I'm going to remove the breech seal out of the compression tube. Take a quarter inch. I just use a six inch long one so I can get a grip of it. Quarter inch lag screw. Screw it in a bit. Wiggle it back and forth. There. There it is. Now I can replace it with the new one. Here's the new breech seal next to the factory breech seal that I just took out. In the front slide, I mean adding the O-ring to keep the sled in action. And I took the, the circlip out. And this is the o-ring I'm using 44 thousandths inside diameter is 26 thousandths the thickness is 10 thousandths it's actually a seal for a TX 200 breech seal I moved the rod back just a hair and now I'm going to slide slide it back now I can push this in 